Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. So in this session we are going to continue with a real gas equation. Okay, an equation which allows us to predict the behavior of real gas and we'll focus on the correction in pressure today. So basically pressure correction comes because of the presence of forces of attraction. Let's say you have a container containing real gas. Okay, so if you remember the pressure exerted by a gas is because of the forces of collision, right? It is because of the collision force per unit area of the wall. Okay, and this collision force depends on the speed or momentum with which the gaseous molecules are going to collide with the walls of the container. Okay, so we just have to focus on this momentum part of the gaseous molecules. So what happens is in an ideal gas the molecules are free to move around anywhere they want okay with any velocities they can have. But now in real gas once the molecule is present in with another gaseous molecules okay and this molecule is has decided to go and collide with the wall. Okay, let's assume that this molecule has is going to collide with as much force as it can, okay, with the wall and it, it is going to say that see this is the pressure I am exerting. What happens is there are other molecules behind it. Okay, and these other molecules are pulling it back. They are exerting a force of attraction towards it. Okay. Whereas in this force of attraction gets cancelled out in the y direction okay because of symmetry or that is what we can assume there will be a net component of this force of attraction in the x direction okay opposite to the direction of motion of the molecule striking the wall that means this molecule which was going to strike the wall with as much force as it can muster can no longer do so it has been pulled backwards that means its velocity has been decreased, it has been deaccelerated because of which the momentum with which it is now going to strike the wall is going to be less than what it did while it was as an ideal gas. That means the pressure exerted on the wall will now be less than the pressure it exerted when it was simply an ideal gas molecule. So this means the pressure P of ideal gas is going to be greater than the pressure exerted by the same amount of real gas under same conditions of temperature and volume. Okay, That is the pressure of ideal gas will be equal to pressure of real gas plus some correction term. Okay you must be very clear about this that when we assume the gaseous molecules to be belonging to an ideal gas the pressure exerted was greater than now when we know that they are actually belonging to real gas that is real gas exerts less amount of pressure than the ideal gas under same conditions of temperature and volume and we also know why that is so it is because of presence of forces of attraction and what we need to do is we simply need to find this correction term over here all right so correction term is somewhat complicated just try and pay attention over here okay so we'll try and get some understanding of the correction term here this correction term is going to depend on okay it is going to depend on the number of molecules which are actually colliding with the wall right the pressure okay the pressure exerted by a gas whether it is real or ideal depends on the molecules or the number of collisions which are actually taking place over there right that means the number of collisions decides the pressure and the number of collisions depends on the density of molecules that is the number of molecules per unit volume Okay, if uh, if the density of molecules is very high here, that is there are more molecules in this unit volume, then there will be more number of collisions 
as a result of which the pressure exerted will be greater so likewise the correction term or the number of, will also depend on the number of collisions which depends on the density of molecules why because more the number of collisions more will be the correction term right we have to apply correction term to each collision taking place over there that, that means the correction term is directly proportional to number of moles of gas per unit volume of the gas okay also this correction term this same correction term will also depend on or will also be directly proportional to number of molecules exerting the attractive force on the colliding particle that is it also depends on how many molecules are trying to pull my colliding particle backwards right greater the number of molecules pulling it backward greater will be the correction term that means the correction term is also going to be directly proportional to number of molecules attracting the colliding molecule which again depends on the density of molecules right the number of molecules attracting the colliding particle okay attracting the colliding particle depends on how many molecules are present in your container per unit volume that means it again depends on n by v all right so we see that correction term is dependent on two different things one is the number of collisions and the other is the number of molecules attracting the colliding particle but those both of these terms are dependent in turn on the density of molecules which is n by v hence your correction term okay your correction term basically is directly proportional to n by v whole square okay it depends on n by v into n by v so removing this proportionality sign we introduce a constant of proportionality let's call it a over here okay for the volume we called it b let's call it a here so the correction term becomes a n square by v square where a is the constant of proportionality okay and this constant of proportionality is a characteristic of a gas that is it depends on the type of real gas whether it is nitrogen or chlorine or argon so it will have a different value for different gas but for a given gas it will have the same value everywhere so depends on the gas the real gas also it depends on the magnitude of attraction force okay what kind of forces are present in the molecules between the molecules of a gas all right otherwise we'll assume a to be constant everywhere so this makes your ideal gas pressure as pressure of real gas plus a n square by v square so now we know the pressure of ideal gas in terms of pressure of real gas all right so if you remember once again what we are going to do is we are simply going to take ideal gas equation and we are going to modify it so that it is applicable to real gases also we have already seen the modification in volume here we are looking at the modification in pressure so the pressure p here in pv is equal to nrt is the pressure exerted by the ideal gas okay so we want to replace it such that we are able to calculate the pressure of real gas which we can do by replacing p with this equation okay p is the pressure of ideal gas here right it is pid okay so p of ideal gas is going to be equal to is going to be pressure of ideal gas so let's see what our equation now becomes okay so the modified ideal gas equation this time assuming that molecular interactions are present okay so for now forget about volume temperature r and anything else just take into account that molecular interactions are present which will affect the pressure value so pv is equal to nrt is being modified and it will get modified to a new equation where p of ideal gas is replaced by p plus a n square by v square okay into v is equal to n r t 
all right so here in this modified equation p is the pressure of real gas okay now it is no more the pressure of ideal gas we have replaced the pres pressure of ideal gas with this new form of pressure where p represents the pressure of real gas okay remember this point all right and we still the volume of your container we okay we still the volume of your container available for free movement n is number of moles r is universal gas constant t is temperature in kelvin and a is simply the characteristic constant for a given gas which is once again called the van der waals constant okay so a and b that we saw in the previous session are both called van der waals constant all right and it will depend on the type of gas later on we'll see that a is simply a measure of the attractive forces whereas b is a measure of repulsive forces in a given gas okay so we'll come to that later on for now you can just remember this modified ideal gas equation where v is still the volume of container but the pressure correction term is taken into account all right so this is a modified ideal gas equation or you can call it the real gas equation and in the next session we'll finally look at the van der waal gas equation which takes into account both the pressure and volume corrections so until then and once again thanks for watching edupedia world videos